We want to thank you for your interest in Herd 1 and would like the opportunity to add value to your livestock operation. Once you get logged in, the dashboard will be displayed. This screen displays a collection of widgets and grids that each convey helpful information related to your herd. We will discuss this in more depth later. One of the first things you should do when beginning with Herd 1 is navigate to the Herds page to make sure you have a herd available to use throughout the op application. These herds allow you to differentiate between animals that may currently be kept together in a specific field or set of fields. Once a herd has been created, you can go to the settings page to set your defaults. Here you can set many of the default values that will make the application work more seamlessly for you. Start out by selecting your preferred livestock type, breed, herd, and form of ID. These preferred values will be used to auto-populate certain drop-downs throughout the application. If the livestock type or breed that you manage the most is not available, simply go to the appropriate page under the Manage Livestock menu item to add them. Another recommendation is to go ahead and set some of the livestock specific settings that will be used throughout the application. Enter the number of days for each of the values and click Update. Many of the grids and widgets in Herd 1 use these values when conveying helpful information to you about your herd. Once you've configured your settings, you can now go to the Add Livestock page. When you get to the Add Livestock page, you can see that Livestock Type, Livestock Herd, and breed have all been populated with my preferred livestock type values. I'm going to go ahead and enter an ID for a new, a new cow. Set a birth date for it and add it. I now have that livestock in my herd. If I go to the livestock page and do a quick search for tag 17. It pulls up the animal that I just added. From here, I can perform edit, delete, or drill down actions on this animal. Once you've added some livestock, the dashboard becomes a handy tool. Along the top of the dashboard are four widgets, each conveying different helpful information related to your livestock. Each of the items are driven off of the default values you entered in the settings page. The first widget shows a breakdown of the animals that exist in your account. As long as you've entered an animal's birth date and gender, it will be categorized into the appropriate group here. I'll note that the birth date is used heavily throughout the application to convey helpful information, so it is recommended that you enter a birth date estimate for an animal, even if you can't confirm it. You can further configure which animals show up as adults or young by modifying the age considered adult value in the settings page. The second widget notifies you of the number of livestock that are within 30 days of the ideal sale age, which was configured in your settings page. The third widget displays the average age of all your adult livestock. Again, this calculation uses the age considered adult value. The last widget shows all adult females that are nearing their due date. This is based on either a due date recorded during a pregnancy check or a calculation which takes into consideration the most recent offspring date and the animal's gestation period. Moving further down the dashboard, the recent activity grid displays the last 90 days of activity for your account. This includes items such as births, notes, vaccinations, pregnancy checks, losses, and sales. The recent transactions grid displays all purchase, sales, and expense transaction re records for the last 90 days. Next, the recent offspring table displays all offspring born on your farm with an age less than the age considered adult value. The last grid displays all female adult animals and shows the time since they last gave birth. Use this view to identify specific animals that may need to be sold due to them not bre breeding back. In order to drill down on a specific animal in either one of these grids, simply click on the row of the desired animal. This will take you to the Manage Animal page where you can see all the details associated with that animal, as well as perform actions such as editing, adding a calf, selling the animal, or managing a loss. Another feature included with Herd 1 is the reporting feature. 
The reports page allows you to run individual vaccination and offspring reports, time-based financial reports, and aggregate group reports and worksheets, which can benefit you running the shoot. All generated reports download as PDFs to your device, which can then assist you in solving the task at hand. Thank you for your time in going through this tutorial. We hope you will continue to explore these as well as the many other features that Herd One has to offer.